हरि ओम सो टू कंटिन्यू विथ द टू सेवेंटी द वर्स इज क्वाइट क्लियर नाउ वील ट्राई टू सी द फुल वर्स टूडे नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन आपूयमाचल प्रतिष्ठम समुद्रमाप प्रवशंति यदि न काम कामी सो नज वी हैव बीन सीइंग दिस फॉर क्वाइट सम टाइम the main motto and intent of the sadhak should be not for longing longing of what of any of the sense gratifications at any of the levels you have five sense organs to just to fairly to roughly touch with that with what we have seen earlier it can be the eyes to see something beautiful and enchanting ears to hear to some rock rock metal hard metal music or sounds or self praise we always love to listen to our our own god nose to smell the best fragrance available mouth to taste the best possible food or to speak something gossip touch have the feel of touch rubbing against and etc you know the other four karmendriyas you know with the hands legs genitals and anus instead of going behind the sense gratifications running behind the name running behind recognition running behind love running behind whatever it is whatever one is searching for money the aim gets shifted towards achieving the bliss and how to obtain the bliss uniting oneself with the self or with the supreme the whole focus is on that any amount of dualities the mind doesn't get perturbed it says so what a person praises you okay so what a person abuses so what i got a promotion so what i am fired so what the whole focus is on uniting on the self similarly for the younger generations the focus should be on goal achieving whatever you have decided are we giving 100% in perceiving what we have to perceive i wanted to study this did i complete this today did i complete this portion today did i have i done my assignment homework oh today sunday holiday vinayak chaturthi krishna janmashtami mhm no excuses every day we breathe 
every time we breathe similarly every day we should study every moment we should be doing our sadhana without practice nothing is achieved you decide to study for an hour and a half and open your book and suddenly the mobile ring and generally our tendency is to pick up the mobile to see what it is please don't do that if it is one and a half hours of study one and a half hours keep the mobile aside and be focused only then you get the bliss or else you will develop blisters my dear friends because at the end of the day you feel that you haven't completed your task and exams are fast approaching of course now is the beginning of the academic year we will not know but constantly if we fail to meet our target then there will be a day where we get pressurized portions to be covered will be more time will be less then day and night we study and spoil our health plan execute swami ji college hasn't begun so what swami ji textbooks have not been prescribed so what textbooks are not prescribed schools and institutions are not opened you know in which grade you are what you are doing take a syllabus of the previous years and up syllabus might have changed so what knowledge knowledge is always power yes this may not come for the examination but portion knowledge is always there because i keep listening to such dialogues you know uh, books are not there this is not there that is not there oh revise the previous years portions okay so what are you so perfect in the previous years uh, portions did we score centum 100 upon 100 no there are certain shortcomings there are certain challenges there are certain difficult portions there study revise rewrite answer the question papers a person if he has to do and gain perfection the n number of ways if you want to veil away time with your electronic gadget games youtube all unwanted so there is also there the bliss will not be there remember in either of the cases it can be for a jivan mukta or here you know the efforts and the constant practice is very very essential without that nothing is achieved and always evil is more powerful but not powerful than us it is not powerful than us is if we become weak is it will take to the dempa versus but it gives a tough fight i do agree initially it gives a tough fight and once it understands then it will not trouble it it knows okay n number of things this person is highly resolved and mm, mm, this girl is so sharp she doesn't entertain it goes off for example we take your own example you don't like to talk to one person you don't talk to him so how long the person will be behind you how long one day this is okay goodbye or you keep on nagging people fall apart similarly here the the, the generic rule of life is same in any dimension the crux do not change isn't it? 
Yes, distractions will be there, but a focus should not get changed. Yes, mind says, hey, no problem, today don't meditate. Uh, then you say, okay, today I will not breathe. Because I know people, they are very smart. Earlier I used to say fasting, but now I have changed because I know a lot of people, you know, who are very smart. They eat and then they say, Swamiji, today I didn't eat Swamiji, I am fasting. And you know, you don't find any of the lakshanas of fasting in them. But the problem here is, until and unless a person is proven, he carries on, he carries on. And how to prove? Everywhere that is the problem. People tell lies. You know that that is a lie and even the other person knows that is a lie. But we can't prove and it remains like that. But in a deep inner conscience, even they know if they are sensitive. Until unless one is caught, we can't say anything. So I take the example of breath. I say if you can't do your sadhana, then stop breathing for some time. Hmm? Yes, if you are into pranayam to some extent, yes, you can control the breath. Few seconds, yes. <laughs> After that. So that is how sadhana should be. Have a time for everything. I don't say don't watch TV. I don't say don't study. I don't say don't play. I don't say don't spend time with your pets. I don't say don't cycle or don't use your skateboards or whatever it is. Have a time for everything. Have a time for everything. I didn't say don't sleep. Sleep. Early rise to say, early to bed, early to rise. Now even that also I don't say. You, you, if you want to get up at 9 o'clock, get up at 9 o'clock. No problem. But once you get up, how active you are is the question. Because there are certain night birds, they sleep at... 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, because they, they are comfortable studying late hours. That's fine. No problem. Think. Once you are awake, be focused. And no point in lying down on the bed covering a bed sheet without sleeping. Mm -hmm. That is not approved. If you are lying down, sleep or else jump out of the bed, pop out of the bed. We'll continue about this. Hmm? Krishnam Vandi Jagat Guru.